click edit and that's a great camera angle. I love these close up camera angles and doorways. Will you stop it? I was joking. I don't like him at all. And another health drink. You can never have enough health drinks. As Lord Vega found out while playing this game. Health drinks are plenty. And as you will see, I only took 11 minutes getting to the apartment building this time. Because most of what I showed in the first three videos, you can skip. You don't have to. You can go straight to getting the apartment key. You don't have to take all the, the big path with all the riddles and uh, stuff. But anyway, let's go to this blue door here. It would be another stairwell. And I must warn you, dear viewers, I am going to show you a cutscene that's truly disturbing. Perhaps maybe the most disturbing cutscene you'll ever see in your life. Unless you play one of those weird Japanese games. But I'm warning you now, so that you may look away during this, because it can be quite shocking, even for those who have already seen it. It's just that screwed up. So it's in room 307 here, if it says room 307. So let's go and watch this truly horrible thing. And uh, that was our that was our cutscene there. I didn't talk during it because everybody must experience the horror of the cutscene without any speech over it. Um, if you uh, okay, you, you didn't in fact see what you may have thought you saw, which would be that uh, pyramid head just raped two mannequins to death. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what to say about that. He, uh, he's apparently incredibly screwed up even for a monster. He kills and rapes the other monsters. <sighs> yeah. And apparently he ran away when James shot him for whatever reason. I happen to know what the reason is, so don't tell me. I know already. Um, but, oh well. He left us alone, and that's what's important. He's not here anymore. But I'm going to room 303. I forget why, but I'm going to do it. Apparently I like to collect first aid kits here. And whatever's in the bathroom. Is there anything in the bathroom? No. I like to get stuck in the bathroom. There we go. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What, what was that? I saw something over here. Oh, he's looking at that lion figure. Yeah, sometimes you can get a bit confused the way that James looks at things in this game. But let's go. I asked one of those healing items. Let's go, um, crap, I turned around. I think 
No, apparently not. Oh wait, no, we need this key. Yes, I was right. Ah. A fire escape key. So now we have two keys, a courtyard key and a fire escape key. So let's go to neither of those places. Let's go here. Because we need a very, very important item. And as you will see here in a moment, we are in a completely different apartment building now because now the second floor's door is boarded up. We are in, I believe, the eastern side of the Woodside apartment. Don't hold me to that, but I believe that's what building we are in. All these doors are locked, so don't even check them. But we are getting this. The Candida Juice! Which, indeed, I really need because uh, I've been running around a lot, so I'm getting kind of thirsty here. If I can select it, thank you. It looks like I can't use that here. Okay. But I want... I want the delicious, delicious flavor of a soda that is... Quite possibly orange in flavor. Why won't you let me drink the orange juice game? I want my juice! This game is evil in, in more ways than you can imagine. Keeping the man from his juice. What the hell, game? What the hell? Ra uh, showing a monster raping other monsters to death. That's nothing compared to this. What the hell is wrong with you? But now we're back in. <laughs> anyway, we're back in this section of the building. Because I want to show you something that you would never probably in a million years guess at doing just immediately. You'd probably only find it if you sat around for hours exhausting every other possibility. But the game creators put it in here and put no hint that you would need to do it because they're assholes. You see this garbage chute here? That's kind of stuck. Well, there's only one thing to do here that's very obvious, of course, is throw the can- no, shh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> The only immediate thing that's apparent is to throw the canned juice into the garbage chute to knock the garbage out. Of course. Yeah, the guys who made this game are assholes like that. They just said, hey, <laughs> they'll be able to figure it out. Well, I'm sure, you know, using canned juice to clear a garbage chute, that's immediately apparent, and uh, that will in no way confuse anybody. <laughs> I mean, uh, I remember the first time I played this game, it took me forever to think of using that canned juice just everywhere possible until I finally found the garbage chute and used it on the garbage chute. And it was... Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm moving on from that to my utter rage for it. We're going to get an old man coin from the garbage and read an interesting gossip magazine that for some reason wrote an article about a serial murderer. I guess that's juicy gossip in Silent Hill. Uh, it's about Walter Sullivan, who was arrested for the murder of two little children, and later committed suicide in his jail cell. He stabbed himself in the neck with a soup spoon, which I guess is the best way to kill yourself. And an old schoolmate from him said he didn't look like the kind of that type that would kill kids. It's always the quiet ones you have to watch out for. You think people would figure that out by now. However, Walter Sullivan said something kind of weird when he was arrested. He said... He's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me. The monster, the red devil, forgive me. I did it, but it wasn't me. And now that the schoolmate thinks about it, that was kind of crazy. Yeah, kind of crazy, sure. <sighs> but Walter Sullivan, if you've played Silent Hill 4, you will notice that he is the antagonist for that game. He is the big bad villain. And it references those murders and his suicide in there and explains why he did it. At the point this game was made, it was kind of made more of a reference to the the, the Red Devil, which was uh, the Pyramid Head. But they kind of changed it instead to reflect uh, what he did in that game. So, it's just another thing of them taking something from Silent Hill 2 and making it fit Silent Hill 4, like the, the whole riddle in the earlier in the game. That's going to be it for this little session. So next time we'll find out what the hell I want with an old man coin. I'll see you then.